You changed so much after the prelate's death. It's been more than 20 years. I'd be surprised if I hadn't changed. But you were filled with such passion. And then one day, it was as if you hid away your emotion and let cold reason take its place instead. You can't accept that it was time that changed me? I feel you keeping me at arm's length. But I only say this because I am worried. Yes, you can win people's minds with reason, but never their hearts. And it is always their hearts that most people listen to. It takes more than emotion to build a world. We must reconcile faith with science. Well then, why don't you just come right out and tell them that? That God is just a mere tool. Oh, my stomach churns just thinking about it. Things are fine the way they are. As am I. Let the people go on dreaming. It falls to us to make their dreams a reality. We teach people to love God, respect Him, fear Him. That is what cardinals do. Rowan, this talk of reconciling our faith, it borders on blasphemy. Do you deny it? You must forgive me. It is time. Can you do these things and still love the life you have chosen? No. The time for me to love is over. Do you know what I see, Rowan? I see a man clinging blindly to duty because he has nothing else. So what happened to your ring? Have you forgotten your vows to her too? Do I use reason to remake the world? I do not. I destroy emotion, for emotion's sake. Zenith holds us bound, even beyond the quartz. Think about all the different ways they talked about time in that scene. Just particularly the character saying do you believe it is impossible that time has changed me in a setting where time has, to all intents and purposes, stopped? There's no daily rhythm anymore, there's no um, natural lifespan anymore, um, and clearly the society is very stagnant as well. Use that's being made of Time as a concept. It's uh, at least somewhat compelling. Anyway, let's see what chapter 10 has for us. Pray, Zephyr. You know that God is always watching us, don't you, Zephyr? What does it matter whether I pray or not? Nothing changes. You're wrong. Things do change, and we grow by overcoming the obstacles God places in our path. What was that? You'll listen Keep when I talk to you! Keep this up the Inquisition will have you hanging by You're your neck! You're a disgrace. He knows your parents must parents. be ashamed it's of you! Corrupted his soul! He doesn't even have any parents!
So there again was a cutscene about time. What's his problem? That time again already. Drink. Ah, he was the same way last year. Today's the day Zephyr and I first met. Where are you going? To pay my respects. I'm coming too! <laughs> you might regret it. So we're gonna do a chapter without Zephyr, are we? Hmm... This could be another colossal pain in the arse. I thought we were through with these. What's the story mission? Oh! Oh! Right! That changes things. I think what that means is that it was Zephyr who was the... Feral character in the pre-title cutscene, the one I haven't got a recording of on the channel, so you don't know what I'm talking about. It's topless. So yeah, that connects some dots with some stuff that we saw in cutscenes in chapter uh, chapter nine. And the rainy bridge is blocked again because the game apparently never gets sick of this shit. Let me show. completely invalidates everything that came out of the game with this about it being Leanne who's the key for and now we have Leanne but no rhythm. Which is really annoying, although potentially there'll be no dungeon as the Pax 7 enemy so far as it seemed capable of being on this place. together on why Zephyr might be depressed. Oh, come on! More set pieces. Thank you. 
this one with the same. Here we go. Roughly speaking, Here yes, but also no. There's six of them. Bones clean. <laughs> We're going to pick your bones clean. <laughs> I don't know what that status does, but I think it's going to turn out to be very bad news. I dare you to hit me! So it's things charge very slow. I hope it's something useful. Ooh. For a second, you're winning. Gotta this. give as good as you get. Not even breaking a sweat. Oh, God damn it. You're dead. Don't you?
The day you first met. Still, got three. The fade for resting takes too long. Wakes us on level seven then. Only one more set piece encounter. See how annoying it'll be. Let's get this over with. I'm gonna leave Gremlin. No, I'm not. They have the freeze move. Let's not leave the Gremlin. Zephyr's gone today. I don't... And... Keep saving, because it's usually the only way out of the really difficult encounters. So, Crank Seminary. Out of my way. I'm not moving. It's no good. How can there be a god in a world with people like me? Do you... Do you really think God will save you? I know he will. But whatever happens... Whatever may come, I'll accept the fate that he gives me. Fate? I'm not ready to accept fate! The scriptures I gave you, keep them with you.
this game really is peak by exploitation. That's the thing I just invented. They taught theology here once. I don't want to know. Same halls I walked that day. This is it. The place we first met. What? You met here? That's right. Wait, he wasn't a victim? Hardly. How horrible! <laughs> it's kind of ironic, don't you think? Murderer like me bringing flowers to a grave. But it seems the thing to do. I don't know if I can face him. I'm afraid I won't be able to look at him the way the way I did before. Sure, half the time he's sulking or saying something thoughtless. That's how he is. I know that. But... I don't want to hate him. I came here to end the standoff. <laughs> I shot him. What? But... He didn't die. I don't... How, how did this happen? I don't know much more than you. Why do some live while others die? <laughs> Sometimes I think he'd be happier if he had died here. But that's really not for me to say. The only thing that matters is what's in your heart, right? So that leaves me with not a lot of stuff to do. Besides go and link up with Bash again and do these side quests. Which, you know, could be fun. Um Bash, did I say Bash? I meant Zephyr. I've only been playing this game for 40 hours, you think I'd know the character name? you wake me up? It's almost noon. Where's my breakfast? <clears throat> there was a time when our bodies contained the mechanism to regulate cell division. It was the breakdown of this process that caused cancer. Cancer? A disease that ravaged the human population long ago. Cancer no longer occurs in modern humans, humans under Zenith's control. But another way of looking at cancer is as a sort of cellular immortality. Of course, there were attempts to scientifically remove the associated risk of death and of aging. Doing so would have left only the positive effects. 
namely immortality. Huh. When quartz breaks, the effect is instantaneous aging. Perhaps it's only a similar process, but the result is still death. Are you suggesting we're a disease that's killing Zenith? I'm saying that maybe Zenith is our cancer. <laughs> so is this supposed to suggest that religion is cancerous? Or that this false religion is cancerous because of something about its falseness? Stop unequipping my dudes. Every damn time. Um, right, side quest time then.